The time people thought it was just a pipe dream, it was never going to happen. It is happening, an event the likes of which have never been seen in Las Vegas, taking center stage. History is made in Las Vegas as the NFL announces grand plans for the NFL draft coming to the Strip this April. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Today, league officials announced the locations for the event happening April 23rd to the 25th. Here's a map of where the draft and festivities will take place over a three-day period. The event will prompt the closure of the Strip in front of the Bellagio, as well as the Flamingo from the Strip right over to Koval. We've got team coverage. Joe Moeller will join us in a few minutes with more on the logistics. But let's start, of course, with sports director Chris Matthews on the Strip with one of the most unique events to ever land in Las Vegas. Chris? Yeah, really, you know what makes this so unique is how fun it's going to be because behind me, the Bellagio Lake, what the NFL is doing, they are constructing a floating stage. Really, really unique. Now, at today's uh, Clark County Commission meeting, of course, all those grand plans were unveiled. You can see the floating stage with a red carpet where players will be introduced by boat. They will shuttle there. Also, the main stage behind the link at Caesars Forum. President Mark Bedena, the Raiders, spoke after the presentation about the excitement. Boy, he says this is everything the NFL could have ever dreamed of. And when the concept of starting kind of the, the red carpet on the Bellagio fountains and then building this huge, beautiful theater on the Caesar Forum where the commissioner will be, where the picks will be, will be done, I mean, it became very exciting for us. Only here. Only in Vegas can you get this kind of experience. Today was a big step. It's the culmination of about two years worth of work from the first time we actually sat down with the NFL and talked about bringing the draft here and, and made a presentation and showed some of the renderings that you saw today. And, and that excitement really culminated in that vote uh, in the county commission meeting. All right, last year's draft in Nashville hosted 600,000 over three days, half of that on opening day. Vegas and the NFL expect to really easily top those numbers. We shall certainly see on uh, the 23rd of April. Now, for all those fans who plan to make their way to Las Vegas and all the locals, everything is free. From the introductions here on the floating stage to the main stage, of course, the draft and the fan experience over there at Caesars Forum. Now, some of this, of course, will be pretty interesting because as fans make their way here, they will see that brand new Allegiant Stadium. Now, the Raiders are hoping to make that available to at least see by all the fans who come here. Now, all this doesn't happen without Allegiant Stadium and the Raiders. They brought it all here. So during the draft, the Raiders are going to arrange for fans to see and hear about the progress of one of the country's most unique and newest and NFL Stadium. For the Raiders, I think it's really just a great uh, testament to the to the power of this public-private partnership uh, that we're building this stadium and that it's bringing the power of the NFL here and the, the impact that this draft's going to have on the resort corridor and for the locals. You heard them talk about how everything is free. Uh, it's really a great event. It'll be hundreds of thousands of people and we couldn't be more excited to be a part of it. Now, one of the issues that they were facing in Nashville was that the draft was quite a ways away from the NFL experience. That won't happen here. Now, with more on the logistics of this 2020 NFL draft, let's, over, let's head over to uh, Joe Moeller. Joe. Yeah, well, like you mentioned, this will be unlike any other NFL draft. And this intersection behind me here will be in the middle of it all because those closures will start here on Las Vegas Boulevard and also on Flamingo. And leading up to the event, there will be some full and partial closures in early April to set up for this event. Now, let's get into what this is all going to look like. Take a look at the rendering of the stage. It doesn't get more Vegas than this. People will arrive to the stage by boat only. It will be the biggest stage ever here. The draft fan experience will be just a few, uh, just a walking distance away down Flamingo at the new Caesars Forum behind the high roller and the link. Fans can gather at the draft main stage to view the, selects, uh, the draft selection, that is. NFL officials explain they want to share iconic features of Las Vegas. What we saw in Nashville, and you take that and you bring that to Las Vegas, I just think the energy of this city, the way the city lights up, I mean, for me, for, for just a core event producer, I can't wait to see it. Well, every night of the event, there will be performances as well. As for planning, the LBCVA is working on security and transportation. Now, back out here live, you're taking a look at Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo. 
You see this uh, walking bridge over here that will also be a uh, big arch, a big welcoming arch, where people will be able to walk down there to get that, that fan experience. And a big question on a lot of people's minds is parking. Well, the parking plan is still in the works. We're hoping to hear more about that within the next few weeks. Reporting live on this trip tonight, I'm Joe Muller. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Joe, thank you. And we wanted to check the room rates in Las Vegas for the NFL draft long weekend. This afternoon, we put in the dates of Wednesday, April 22nd through Sunday the 26th on Expedia.com. The most expensive room we found in the vicinity of the draft locations was Nobu Hotel at Caesars Palace, running $647 a night. All the way down on the other end of the spectrum, Bally's at $262 a night. So the NFL draft and all of its grandeur is coming in just a couple of months. Uh, months. So we asked our viewers, are you excited about it or are you just dreading all the crowds and all the commotion? Looks like a lot of you are not looking forward to it, according to our Facebook page. Some viewers commented they just don't care about football, while others countered saying it will bring in big bucks to Las Vegas. So to keep up with all the news about the NFL draft festivities as we get closer to the big day on our website, you can go to 8newsnow.com. I will echo what Joe and Chris were saying. Mm -hmm. That is a heck of a Vegas stage, wow. is it not? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs>